Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking that I do a tutorial for installing Minecraft mods. So in this video, I'll do a brief guide for installing both the Forge and Fabric mod loaders. Now one thing you need to note is that you can't use both together, you have to pick one or the other. And if you choose to install a mod that's for Fabric, it won't work if you're using Forge. Like my other videos, I'll keep this video short and sweet. Before continuing, make sure you don't have Minecraft open already. And with all that in mind, let's get started. To use Forge, head to Google and just type Forge. The official website should be the top result, but I'll also put some links in the description below. On the left side of the page, you'll see a list of Minecraft versions. Select the one you want, which in my case is Minecraft 1.16.4. There are usually two options here, one that says latest and one that says recommended. In most cases, you should just select the installer option under the recommended area. You'll have to sit through a few seconds of ads and then you can press the skip button in the top right corner. A .jar file will be downloaded to your computer, which you should open. If it doesn't open or you have any other problems, start by making sure you have Java installed and it's up to date. Otherwise, you can try Googling any errors that you come across. In this Forge installer window, you have two options. There are install client and install server, which are basically single player and multiplayer. For this video, we're going to cover just single player modding, but I'll leave a brief guide for multiplayer in the description. In the installer window, make sure that your Minecraft directory is correct, and then press the OK button with install client selected. After a short time, it should successfully install. Now open up your Minecraft launcher and press the drop down box in the bottom left corner. This shows all the versions of Minecraft you have installed, and there should now be a forge option. Select this and press play so that all the configuration files are created. Now we're ready to install mods, which require us to go to our default Minecraft directory. You can press the mods button in the main menu and then choose open mods folder. Some older versions of Forge don't have this option. So instead you can go to options, resource packs, and then the open resource packs folder. From there, you'll need to go up a level to get to your Minecraft directory, and then choose the mods folder. Let's install a Forge mod. Enter just enough items into Google, and you should see the link to the CurseForge page. On the right hand side, you can find some download buttons. If it isn't listed for your version, it could be hidden. Press the Files button on the CurseForge page, then find the View All button. There'll be a drop down button near the top right where you can select the download link for your version of Minecraft. Every time you download a mod, you'll receive a .jar file. All you need to do is drop this into the mods folder that we previously opened. Then open Minecraft again with the Forge preset selected, or restart if it's open. You can check to see if a mod is installed by pressing the mods button on the main screen, or by entering a world. If you're using quite a few mods, there might be a conflict when it comes to key bindings, so double check those too. And that's it. You could start installing as many Forge mods as you'd like. Some mods don't work nicely together, so you'll have to check their compatibility. Every time you install new mods, you'll also need to restart Minecraft. I have a video on my channel which also covers installing Optifine with Forge. If you want to install Fabric instead of Forge, start by typing Fabric Mod Loader into Google or clicking the link in the description. Under the installation heading, press the download link. You can select either of these two buttons, but I'll choose the universal jar file. Once it's downloaded, open this file. If it doesn't open, make sure you have the latest version of Java installed. The Fabric installer window should now be open. In the first drop-down, select your Minecraft version you want to install Fabric for. I'm going to choose Minecraft 1.16.4. You can leave the loader version as it is. It's unlikely you'll need to change this option. Make sure your install location is correct, which it should be by default, and then hit the install button. It should only take a few seconds. Once it's done, open up your Minecraft launcher. In the bottom left corner is a drop-down menu, which contains all the versions of Minecraft you have installed. One of the newest additions will be Fabric. Select it, then press the play button so that Minecraft creates all the necessary files. Now we need to head to your default Minecraft directory. 
The easiest way to get there should be by opening the Resource or Texture Pack screen in Minecraft. There, you can press the Open Resource Packs folder button. From there, you'll need to go up a level. There should be a newly created mods folder in here. Let's start with installing the Fabric API, which is a necessity for a lot of Fabric mods to function. Google Fabric API or click the link in the description. This should bring you to the CurseForge page. On the right-hand side, you can see some download links, but there's a chance it won't be shown for all versions of Minecraft. If yours isn't shown, you can open the files, then press View All and check the drop-down menu to see if your version is listed. Any mods that you download will be a jar file. All we need to do is place these files inside the mods folder of your Minecraft directory. Once you've done that, open Minecraft with the fabric preset selected, or restart Minecraft if it's already open. It should load up with the mods that you've selected. That's it! Fabric should be up and running with any mods that you install. On CurseForge, you can also find a fabric category, which should help you out with finding mods to install. That concludes this guide. Now, some people do get errors when installing mod loaders, and it's a good idea to check Google first. I don't work for any of these loaders, and I don't have the knowledge to assist with any issues. If you're looking for some mods to install, check out some of the videos on my channel.